conservation grazing, we're aiming to restore and recover nature within grasslands. For conservation grazing, we'll use farm livestock. Um, and through their grazing, their munching, their nibbling, they are increasing the biodiversity of that habitat. Just to explain, this is the whole flock. Mm -hmm. Well, we have a, a group of willing volunteers um, that are not particularly from land-based or farming backgrounds at all. Um, so they join our group. We give them an in, in, um, induction where they have a walk and talk. Uh, so we meet with them and we explain what they need to look for, what the issues might be, what the health and safety things they need to be aware of. Um, and then they go onto a roster. So we cover 365 days of the year between them. Some do one a month. Um, and the checks take about an hour-ish. Um, some will do four or five checks a month. And then they come individually and they'll go to the relevant fields because they will have had an update where the livestock are and how many of each type of animal we've got. So they count all the animals to make sure they've seen every single one um, in case there's anything ill that's hiding away somewhere. Um, they give them a general check over, do they look healthy, are they grazing, do they look stress free, this sort of thing, no sign of injuries. Um, but we also check the site, we check the boundaries, there's you know, gates open and shut as they should be, um, there's no trees down over a fence that could allow them to escape. So cattle for example, uh, they will graze longer grass, they will pull their tongue around it and pull up a tussock and eat it. So they can't select that well and they can't graze that short. Sheep on the other hand have got selective lips and they can walk around and they can select the favourable vegetation they want. So they can graze very low. So we've got short grazed grasses, we've got medium height, we've got tussocky. Got her. She's going Most through. people come because they enjoy being out in the, the fresh air, they enjoy walking, they enjoy learning things. Some are more interested actually in learning about the livestock than others, but I think everybody gets a lot from it. This time of year we're left with some tussocky grasses, which we can see behind us, which is a fantastic environment for voles, uh, bank voles and field voles. Um, and from that, it's a fantastic hunting ground for barn owls. Rain or shine, I mean, the views are absolutely glorious. So that there's something to enjoy every day. I've gained new friends from doing this, uh, and I know a lot of the others have as well. And they've gone on to do other things. You know, they've joined walking groups together with some of the other shepherds and this sort of thing. So it, it's really good.